Check, check. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to your Bikram Yoga practice with humans of Bikram Yoga. Let's begin, please. We start with pranayama breathing, standing deep breathing exercise. Good for your lungs, good for your respiratory system. Start with your feet together, please. Toes, heels touching side by side. Interlock your 10 fingers nice and tight. Glue your knuckles to your chin. Lift your chest up. Your spine should be straight. Body weight maximum back in your heels. Contract your hips and thighs nice and tight. Look forward one point. Concentrate. Meditate. Have a great class. Start, please. Inhale. Head down. Lift your elbows up. Take a deep breath through the nose. Open up your chest. Full lungs. Exhale. Head up. Let your head fall back, look back right away. Arms forward, away from your chest, elbows touch each other. Slow it down, lay, inhale, head down. Slowly head down, chin parallel to the floor. Lift your elbows up, elbows try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, head up, slowly, gently. Bring your arms forward, away from your chest. Arms forward, elbows touch each other. Inhale, head down, deep breath through the nose. Stomach in nice and tight. Compress your abdomen, muscles fill up your lungs more this time. Exhale, head up. Let your head fall back. Push the chin back. Knuckles with your chin, palms touch, arms touch, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, lift your elbows up. Stomach in nice and tight so you can use the lungs more full lung capacity. Exhale, head up, push the chin back, mouth open wide. Ha sound coming out of your throat until your lungs are completely empty. Inhale, head down, lift your elbows up, arms and head moving together in synchronization at the same time, filling up your lungs. Exhale, head up, let your head fall back, suck your stomach in to push every drop of air out of your lungs, empty, empty, empty your lungs. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, head up, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, head down, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, expire, exhale, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, inhale, head down, Taking the full six counts, filling up your lungs to the maximum expansion capacity. Exhale, head up. Taking the full six counts to push every drop of air out of your lungs. Empty, empty, completely empty your lungs. Inhale, head down. Lift your elbows up. Inhale as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Exhale, head up. Exhale as much as possible, as long as possible. As slow as possible, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Last one, everybody. Make it the best one you've done so far. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly, gently. Slower you do, better you do. Lungs completely empty. Arms touch, elbows touch, and arms down by your side. Good one. We'll do that one more time. You rejuvenate your soul with this breathing exercise. Let's go again. Feet together, interlock 10 fingers, knuckles glued to the chin, chest up, spine straight. Look forward, second set. Ready? Start, please. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, head down. Uno. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Exhala por uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Inhale, head down. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs. Exhale, head up. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs. Elbows together. Inhale, head down. Lift your elbows up to the ceiling. Stretch up, lift up, full lung capacity. Exhale, head up. Let your head fall back. Look way, way, way back. Keep your chest lifted, spine straight, elbows together. Inhale, head down. Deep inhale through the nose. Using the back of your throat, fill up your lungs to the maximum capacity. Exhale, head up. Eyes go back. Look for the wall behind you. 
Bring your arms forward, elbows away from your chest, elbows touch each other. Inhale, head down, lift your elbows up, open up your chest. Your rib cage should be sticking out visible forward. Exhale, head up, let your head fall back. Keep your chest lifted, no hunchback. Keep your spine straight, no backward bend. Elbows touch in the end. Inhale, head down, warming up your body from the inside out, circulating fresh oxygen throughout your body. Exhale, head up, let your head fall back. Push the chin with your knuckles, 10 fingers interlocked, palms touch, arms touch, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, deep inhale, stomach in nice and tight, compression of your abdominal wall, suck it in, tightening up, hold it in. Exhale, head up, push the chin back, stomach in, stomach in even more, push every drop of air out of your lungs, empty your lungs. Inhale, last one. Everybody make it the best breath you've ever taken in your life. When you think your lungs are full, take another sip on top of that. Exhale, head up on your own. Take your time. Slower you do, better you do. Lungs empty, arms touch, elbows touch, arms down by your side. Good. From now on, your breathing should be normal through the nose. Please keep your mouth closed. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through your nose. First posture, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Keep your feet together. Inhale, arms up, palms together, interlock 10 fingers, release the index, your thumbs should be crossed. Arms back, stretch up, lift up, touch the ceiling with your index, move your body right and left, right and left, right and left several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left, stretch up and over to the right, stretch up and over to the left. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Stand still. Let's set up half moon pose. Arms back, everybody. Elbows should be locked. There should be no gap between your biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips forward. Open hips and pelvis. Upper body back. Open up your chest and rib cage. Throughout the posture, maximum body weight should be in your heels. Take a deep breath. Inhale, breathing. Lift up, stretch up. One more time. Touch the ceiling. Slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. Create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to your toes, hips more forward, upper body back more, arms back more, lean back more, keep your chin away from your chest, your throat should be visible forward, look forward one point, push your left hip forward more, keep your two hips in one line, right shoulder forward more, opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down deeper, push and push and push, inhale, come back out, other side, arms back, hips forward, keep your chin up, inhale, lift up, stretch up one more time, touch the ceiling, slowly bend your body to the left without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. Create a tremendous stretching feeling down the right side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to your toes, hips more forward, upper body back more, arms back more. Keep your chin away from your chest. Your throat should be visible forward. Look forward one point. Don't even blink your eyes. Push your right hip forward more. Keep your two hips in one line. Left shoulder forward more, opening up your chest. Come down deeper now. Push and push and push. Inhale, come back out. First backward bend. Take a deep breath. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Go and touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine from your coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine, backward bending. Push your upper body back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight in your heels. Take a deep breath. Push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the front. Arms back. Look back. Go back. Fall back. Way back. More back. Inhale. Come back out gently, slowly now. Bend your knees, bring the body down, put your hands on the floor in front of you, move your hips right and left, 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 several times, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, move your hips right, left, right, left, making sure your lower back feels nice and loose, comfortable, easy, flexible. It's a U-turn coming from a backward bend to a forward bend. Your spine is not warmed up yet. Be gentle, be careful. Move your hips right, left, right, left, right, left several times. Next is Pada Hastasana, hands to feet pose. Bend your knees, go and grab your heels from behind. Stepping on all five fingers of each hand, your baby fingers touching side by side. Get a good grip under the heels. 
take a deep breath, inhale, breathing, start to pull. Pull your heels as much as possible. Stretch your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees, your face touching your legs below your knees. From the side, your body should look like a Japanese ham sandwich. There is no gap anywhere. Roll forward like a wheel, maximum body weight in your toes. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, slowly, gently push your knees back towards the back wall. Try to lock both knees. Tremendous stretching underneath both your legs. Coccyx to the toes, bones to the skin. Push your knees back, lock your knees. Eyes open, breathing normal. Roll forward. Forward like a wheel, lock your knees, pull harder, lock your knees. Last chance, everybody, lock both knees, inhale, come back out, arms and head together, slowly come up, exhale, arms down by your side. Good, second set, one more time, keep your feet together, inhale, arms up, palms together, interlock 10 fingers, release the index, thumbs crossed, arms back, body back, chin up chest open inhale lift up stretch up stretch up lift up open your spine first and then slowly bend your body to the right now you're opening up the whole left side of your spine your neck down to the coccyx each and every vertebra of your spine opening up upper body back towards the back wall chest opening up hips and pel hips push forward pelvis opening up opening up the whole left side of your body shoulder blade scapular deltoid arms touching with your ears palms together stretch touching like glue suck your stomach in now come down deeper push second set come down deeper push everybody come down deeper push inhale come back out other side arms back hips forward chin up chin up inhale lift up stretch up stretch up touch the ceiling go for it bend your body to the left continuously push 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 your hips to the right stretching open the whole right side of your body this time bones to skin fingertips to your toes right side shoulder blade scapula deltoid right side of your spine hips in line shoulders in line upper body back your chest is opening up like a flower petal blooming palms together stretching touching like glue suck your stomach in nice and tight second set go a little bit deeper Come down deeper, push, come down deeper, push, come down deeper, push. Inhale, come back out. Second backward bend, take a deep breath, drop your head back as far as it goes. Look back right away. Elbows, palm, elbows locked, palms together. Inhale, take a deep breath. Arms back, arms back, arms back. Look back. Look back, arms back, lay, bring your arms back, elbows locked, bring your arms back. Your back bend doesn't start until your arms come back. Push your upper body back, you're trying to fall down backwards, no fear. Take a deep breath, inhale, breathing with full confidence. Push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward. Arms back, look back, go back, fall back, way back, way back, way back, way back, way back, more back. Inhale, come back out, good. Gently bend your knees, bring the body down slowly. Put your hands on the floor. Move your hips right and left, 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 right and left. Several times, right, left, right, left, right, left. Second set, go ahead, bend your knees, go and grab your heels from the up behind. Get a good grip under the heels. Everybody breathing. Take a deep breath, everybody. Inhale, breathing, and go ahead, start to pull. And pull, and pull. Pull the body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees. Your face touching your legs below your knees. From the side, there should be no room for light or air to go through between your upper body and your legs. You glue it like a sandwich. There should be no room. You touch the face to the legs. Roll forward like a wheel. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, slowly, gently push your knees back. Try to lock both knees. Tremendous stretching underneath both your legs. Coccyx to the toes. Roll forward like a wheel. Lock your knees, touch your face, Louise, lock your knees. Ah, Louise, roll forward, lock your knees, pull harder, lock your knees. Last chance, lock both knees. Inhale, come back out. Arms and head together, come up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Utkatasana, awkward pose. Right foot steps to the right, six inches apart. Heels invisible behind your toes. Feet should be parallel to each other like a capital letter H. Arms are parallel to the floor, elbows locked. Triceps tight, contracted, nothing loose, nothing hang it. Stomach and everybody hold it and sit down. Feet flat position, sit down until your hips touch an imaginary chair. 
100% body weight should be in your heels throughout the posture. Feet flat position throughout the posture. Stretch your fingertips forward, look forward, stomach in nice and tight. Louise, have to sit down lower, darling. Hips should go all the way back. You can lean the body forward, but hips go after. Yes, that's the action. Hips go all the way back. 100% body weight in your heels, contracting your quads. Now lift the chest up, lean back, go back. Try to fall down backwards. Inhale, come back out. Very good. Second part, keep your arms there. Stand up maximum on your toes like a ballerina. This posture, all the three parts of this posture is strengthening your muscles, the muscles of your legs especially. Stand up maximum on your toes. Stretch everything up towards the ceiling like a traction, like a ballerina, and sit down on the top of your toes. Look forward one point, lay. Don't look here and there too much. Just look one point. So you give your eyes one point of focus. It will help the body as well. Look forward. Concentrate forward. Stand up maximum on your toes. Bend your knees only to sit down on the top of your toes. Upper body leaning against the back wall. Chest lifted. Spine straight. Stomach in nice and tight. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. Hips should not go down below the chair. Inhale, come back up. Third part. Keep your arms there. A little bit on the toes, touch the knees together, inner thighs together. Don't let your heels turn out. Keep your feet parallel the least. Stomach can sit down slowly, at least 10 counts, all the way down, all the way down. Upper body leaning against the back wall, chest up, spine straight, stomach sucked in. Keep your knees together and forward so your thighs are parallel to the floor. Arms are parallel to your legs. Spine is 90 degrees from the side. Your body should look like a box. Stomach in tight, knees together. Inhale slowly, come back out. Leaning against the back wall, feet together, arms by your side. Relax the shoulders, breathing through the nose. Second set, try again. Much better, Lay. That's a much better view. Good. Right foot steps to the right, six inches apart. Feet parallel. Arms are parallel to the floor. Elbows locked. Triceps tight, contracted. Stomach muscles contracted. Hold your stomach muscles in. Sit down, feet flat position. Sit down until your hips touch an imaginary chair. You are sitting on the chair. 100% body weight should be in your heels throughout the posture. Contract your tricep muscles more. Stretch your 10 fingers forward. Relax the shoulders. Lift your chest up. Now start to arch the upper body back. Good. Lean back. Go back. Fall down backwards. Change. Come back out. Second part. Keep your arms there. Stand up maximum on your toes. Look one point in the front. Don't even blink your eyes. You will lose your balance. That's how much focus you need for this posture. Chin up, Louise. Spine straight. Position, sit down on the top of your toes. Maximum on your tippy toes. Upper body leaning against the back wall. Stomach in nice and tight. Lift up higher, stretch up higher. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. Hips should not go down below the chair. Inhale, come up. Third part, keep your arms there. A little bit on your toes. Touch your knees together. Stomach in, spine straight. Sit down. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, deux. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Spine stretching up. Stomach in nice and tight. Keep your knees together. Bounce a couple of times. Bounce and bounce and bounce and hold still. Stomach can come back up for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Feet together, arms by your side. Let it go. Stand tall. Eagle posture. Garu Rasana. Inhale, bring your arms over your head sidewise. Bring your right arm under your left arm. Cross at the elbows. Twist at your wrists. Palms in front of your face. Pull your elbows down to get your fingertips below your nose. Stomach and sit down on the chair. Sit down on the chair like awkward first part. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Stay down on the chair. Upper body back. Lift your right leg over the left leg as high as possible. Put your right foot around the left calf muscle. All five toes visible forward. Look forward. Bring your knees to the right upper body to the left. Get your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the center of your body. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back more. Keep pulling your elbows down, upper body back at the end. Change other side. Inhale, arms up. Take a deep breath. Arms over your head. Left arm under the right arm. Cross at the elbows. Twist at your wrists. Keep your palms in front of your face. Pull your elbows down to the floor. 
Shoulders relaxed, pull your elbows down. Sit down on the chair, sit down on the chair, stay down on the chair, upper body back first, and then lift your left leg over the right leg as high as possible. Put your left foot around underneath the right calf muscle, all five toes visible forward. Look forward, slowly adjust your joints in the center, bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right. Get your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the center. If your foot is coming out, sit down more, twist your legs like ropes. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back more. Suck your stomach in more, upper body back at the end. Change, second set, inhale, arms up, take a deep breath, and go, zoom, right arm under the left arm. Swing it, cross it, twist it. Make sure you're breathing, breathing, breathing in and out through the nose. Stomach can hold it and sit down on the chair. Stay down on the chair, upper body back. Lift your right leg over the left leg as high as possible. Cross and twist your legs like ropes are twisting into each other. You are creating a tourniquet effect, which is flushing your lymphatic system, rejuvenating your reproductive system. Awesome for your musculoskeletal system. Stomach in more tight, upper body back at the end. Change, other side. Second set, take a deep breath, arms over your head. And go, zoom, left arm under the right arm. Stomach in tight, sit down on the chair. Stay down on the chair, upper body back. Lift your left leg over the right leg as high as possible. Cross and twist, nice and tight. You are twisting your body while doing it on one leg. Not an easy posture. Look forward, give it extra focus. Be still. Bikram says you become a statue. You freeze. Don't even blink your eyes. Stomach in more tight. Shoulders relaxed. Start to arch back. Arch back. Upper body back at the end. Chin. Good one. Lay. Inhale. Arms over your head. Exhale. Arms down. Party time. Have a sip of water if you'd like. Hey, standing head to knee, Dandeyamana Janushadasana, shift your body weight into your left leg, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right foot in front of you with your 10 fingers interlocked grip, do not lose this grip, concentrate full attention to your left knee, left, left knee locked, left thigh contracted, left leg solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post unbroken, you have no knee. Left knee locked, inhale, breathing slowly, gently, right leg lift up and stretch forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, left knee locked. Keep trying, yogis, keep trying, never give up, never give up. You fall down 10 times, get back up 11 times, that's okay. That's what we do, we keep trying. Lock your left knee, left thigh contracted, left leg solid concrete, hold it, lock your left knee for one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Change. Good, 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 good. Other side. Shift your body weight into the right leg. Interlock ten fingers. Grab your left foot in front of you. Get a good grip. If you just lock that right knee, you're getting 100% benefit out of this posture. Standing on one leg, balancing on one leg making it a solid concrete foundation for the rest of the body to stand on. Lock your right knee, contract your right thigh quadricep. Right foot should be flat on the floor like an elephant foot. Right leg solid concrete, inhale slowly, gently. Left leg lift up and stretch forward until your left leg is parallel to the floor. Take a deep breath and kick out. Lock your right knee for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Change, good. Hands on your hips. Do the backward bending one second. Arms by your side. Second set, try it again. Shift your body weight into your left leg. Interlock 10 fingers, go ahead. Grab your right foot in front of you. Get a good grip, nice and tight grip. Think about your left knee. Feel what you're doing to your left knee. Talk to your left knee. Communicate with your left knee. Left knee locked, solid concrete. The kneecap stays lifted. The quadriceps stays contracted. Don't relax the muscle. Contract the muscle. Keep it contracted. 
Bloquer les genoux, Louise. Bloquer les genoux, mademoiselle. Lock it solid, concrete. Left knee locked, contracted. Right leg lift up. Right leg kick out. Turn your toes in. Flex your right foot. Both knees locked. Legs look like an upside down L for Louise. L for Lay. Look at that. Both the L's. Both knees locked. Bend your elbows down. Keep kicking without stopping. Without intermission, lock your knees and change. Come back out. Good, 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 ladies. Other side, last one. Shift your body weight, right leg. Interlock 10 fingers. Grab your left foot. Get a good grip. Last side, last set. Get a good grip, nice and tight grip. Contract your right thigh. Lock your right knee. Right foot flat. Inhale, breathing. Left leg lift up and stretch forward. Take a deep breath and kick with your heel out. Turn your toes in towards your face. All five toes turned in. Flex your left foot, stretching your Achilles tendon. Both knees, leg, legs locked, knees locked, thighs contracted. Legs are 90 degrees to the floor. Keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. Lock your knees. Change. Hands on your hips. Do the backward bending one second. Arms by your side. Standing bow pulling pose. Dandiya Mana Dhanurasana. Bring your right hand up, palm facing up, elbow touching with the body. Turn it to the right. Bring your arm down. Grab your right foot behind you at the ankle joint. Left arm stretch up to the ceiling. Your chin close to the shoulder. Bring your knees together to start, please. Look forward one point. Take a deep breath, everybody. Inhale, breathing full lungs. Charge your body forward. Go and touch the front wall. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down until your abdomen, chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking. Right foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Body down lower. Left hand fingertips stretch forward. Go and touch the front wall. Left shoulder coming out of your body. Right shoulder invisible behind the left shoulder. Shoulders in one line. Body down, kick up. Chest down, kick up. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. Body down, kick up one more time. Change, come back out. Other side, left hand up, palm facing up, elbow touching with the body. Turn it to the left, bring your arm down. Grab your left foot behind you at the ankle bone. Right arm stretch up to the ceiling. Your chin close to the shoulder. Look forward one point, don't even blink your eyes. Inhale, take a deep breath for lungs. Charge your body forward. Go and touch the front mirror simultaneously. Kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down until your abdomen, chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking. Left foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the center. Right hand fingertips stretch forward. Go and touch the front mirror. Right shoulder blade, scapula coming out of your body. Five fingers together, Louise. Stretch forward. Kick the left leg back and up. Left foot coming up over the top of your head. Body down, lower, kick up harder. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. Body down, kick up, chest down, kick up, stretch forward, kick up one more time. Change. Good one, Louise. Good one. Très bon. Feet together, arms by your side. Head up, chin up. Second set, one more time. Right hand up, palm facing up. Turn it to the right. Grab your right foot behind you. Left arm stretch up to the ceiling. Chin close to the shoulder. Knees together. Lock your left knee, everybody. Right shoulder, relax. Inhale, take a deep breath, full lungs. Charge your body forward. Stretch forward, kick the right leg back and up. Stretching, kicking should be equal simultaneous 50-50. Left hand fingertips stretch forward, left shoulder coming out of your body. Right shoulder behind the left shoulder, invisible in the center. Body down, kick up, chest down, kick up. Turn it on, kick up. Don't give up, kick up. Last chance, kick up. Everybody, kick up, kick up, kick up. Change, come back out, other side. Left hand up, palm facing up. Turn it to the left. Grab your left foot, get a good grip. Right arm stretch up to the ceiling. Your chin close to the shoulder. Knees in line, everybody. Take a deep breath like pranayama. Inhale, breathing full lungs. Charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Stretch your right hand fingertips forward. Right shoulder blade, scapula coming out of your body. Left shoulder behind the right shoulder, invisible. Shoulders in one line from the front, from the back, from the side. Body down, abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Turn it on, kick up harder. The harder you kick, you can balance here forever. Body down, kick up. Chest down, kick up. Stretch forward, kick up, kick up harder. Kick up more, kick up one more time. Change, come back out. Good job. Finishing the posture on one leg. That's good. Step to the back of your mat, please. Don't fall into the water, Louise. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Tula Dandasana. Let's go arms up. 
palms touch, interlock 10 fingers, release the index, thumbs cross. Arms back, chin up, inhale, take a deep breath. Right leg step forward, big step. Lock both knees, everybody go. Body down, leg up, chest down, leg up until your arms, body, head, leg, everything is parallel to the floor from the side. Your body should look like a capital letter T as in Tom, not a broken umbrella. Leg up higher, lay, leg up higher, stretch forward more, stretch and stretch and stretch. Chin, wow, good. Other side, arms back, chin up, head up. Inhale, lift up, stretch up, left leg step forward, big step, lock both knees and go. Body down, leg up, chest down, leg up. Every muscle in your body contracted, get your leg up, pointed toes, leg up. Stretch your fingertips more forward, shoulder blade, scapula coming out of your body. Stretch forward more, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, come back out, arms by your side. So good, so good, both of you, awesome. Feet together, arms down, breathe and breathe. Second set, I'm going to have a quick, Tea as in tea, a sip of tea. And let's go second set. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Palms touch. Interlock 10 fingers. Release the index. Remember, guys, you have to open up the spine, right? Lift up out of your waist, releasing pressure from the lower spine. Lift up, stretch up. Right leg, step forward, big step. Lock both knees, go. Right leg, Louise, unless the mirror, the, the posture is mirrored. Stretch forward, go and touch the front mirror. Shoulder blade, scapula coming out of your body. Stomach should be sucked in nice and tight. Biceps are squeezing your ears. Stretch forward more, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, come back out, arms back, head up, chin up. Inhale, lift up again, take a deep breath. Left leg, step forward, big step. Lock both knees and go. Body down, leg up. Chest down, leg up. Every muscle contracted. Stretch your fingertips forward, shoulders coming out of your body. Now is the time to balance, Louise. That was the time to balance. Stretch and stretch and stretch. Change, come back out. Arms by your side. Find your position for standing, separate legs stretching. Wow, that is quite some shaking going on there. Okay, Dande Amana Bipakta Para Pashi Motanasana. Feet together, please. Inhale, arms up. Right leg step to the right, big step. Arms down parallel to the floor immediately. Your two heels should be in one line. Feet slightly pigeon toe. Stomach in tight. Knees locked, thighs contracted. Keep your chin up. Slowly bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Come down all the way. Go and grab your heels from the outside. If you cannot grab your heels, grab the outside of your feet. Get a good grip. Nice and tight grip. Take a deep breath. Inhale, breathing. Pull your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Try to touch your forehead on the floor in between your feet. Roll forward like a wheel. Touch your forehead on the floor. Spine becomes 90 degree angle perpendicular to the floor. Coccyx to the neck. Touching the floor with your forehead. Opening up each and every vertebra of your spine. Roll forward like a wheel. Lock both knees. Contract your thighs. First your legs are stretching. Then your hips are stretching. Then your lower back is stretching. Then your whole back is stretching, your whole body is stretching 360 degrees in this posture. Coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the neck. When you touch your forehead in between your feet, change. Inhale, come back out slowly. Right leg back to the place, arms by your side. Stand tall, head up, chin up, mouth closed. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose. Second set, try again. Feet together, inhale, arms up. Right leg step to the right, big step. Four feet, big step, arms down, parallel. Heels in line, toes turned in. Keep your chin up, stomach in nice and tight. Lock both knees and slowly bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Look forward, chin forward, roll forward, body weight forward. Come down all the way, grab your heels. Second set, pick it up from your left off in the first set. Take a deep breath, inhale, breathing. Start to pull and pull and pull and pull, pull the body down, touch your forehead on the floor, opening up each and every vertebra of your spine. Stomach should be sucked in, everybody. This is the maximum back forward bend. Stomach sucked in, protecting, supporting the lower spine. Contract your thighs, nice and tight. Quadriceps should be nice and tight, contracted. Maximum body weight should be in your toes, into the balls of your feet. Roll forward, pull harder, use the biceps, relax the shoulders away from your ears. Suck your stomach and pull and stretch, pull and stretch, pull and stretch. Chain, come back out. Good job, everybody. Feet together, arms over your head, arms by your side. Have a sip of water if you'd like before triangle pose. Trikonasana. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Right leg step to the right, big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. 
push-ups forward, fold your arms back, body back. Turn your right foot out to the side, half an inch more out. Make sure the right foot is parallel to the side walls. Take a deep breath, bend your right knee to sit down, sit down, sit down, bounce and bounce and bounce like a motorcycle right until your right thigh bicep becomes parallel to the floor. Don't let your hips come up anymore. Upper body back, arms back, spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing, go. Move both arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of your right knee. Put your fingertips between the big toe and the second toe. No touching the floor with your fingertips. Look up at the ceiling. Touch your chin to the left shoulder. The profile of your face should be visible from the side. Left arm stretch up. Right arm stretch down. Both arms stretching up and down like a traction. Push the left hip down and forward. Push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Turn or twist your upper body back. Keep your left knee locked. Left foot flat on the floor. Chin. Bravo. Le. That was awesome. By the side. Right foot turns in. Left foot turns out. Take a deep breath. Bend your left knee to sit down. Sit down. Sit down. All the way. Sit down. Left thigh bicep femur bone parallel to the floor. Upper body back. Arms back. Inhale. Breathing. Take a deep breath. And go. Move both arms at the same time. Bring your left elbow in front of your left knee. Put your fingertips between the big toe and the second toe. No touching the floor with your fingertips. Look up at the ceiling. Touch your chin to the right shoulder. The profile of your face should be visible from the side. Right arm stretch up. Left arm stretch down. Five fingers stretch up. Five fingers stretch down. Push the right hip down and forward. Push your left knee back with the help of your left elbow. Turn or twist your upper body back like spine. Twisting posture. Keep your right knee locked. Right foot flat on the floor. Inhale. Come back out. Feet together, arms over your head, arms by your side. Breathe in, breathe out through the nose. Reset for the second set. Re-energize for the second set. Let's go second set. Feet together, inhale, arms up. Right leg step to the right, big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Heels in line, push-ups forward. Right foot turns out. Bend the right knee and sit down. Sit down, sit down. Arms back, body back. Take a deep breath, inhale, breathing. Move both arms at the same time. Stretch both arms at the same time. Upper body should stay lifted. Chest should stay open. Diaphragm should stay open, making it a perfect marriage between your heart and your lungs. Take a deep breath through the nose. Lift the body up. Big gap triangle shape between your chest and your right thigh. Left thigh contracted. Push the left hip forward. Push the right knee back. Turn, twist your upper body back. Left knee locked. Left foot flat. Left arm stretch up. Stretch up. Stretch up. Inhale. Come back out. Right foot turns in, left foot turns out. Take a deep breath. Bend your left knee to sit down, sit down, sit down. Body back, arms back. Are you breathing? Take a deep breath. Inhale, breathing. Full lungs. Move both arms. Stretch the arms apart. Shoulder blades, scapula coming out of your body. That is how much you are stretching. Look up, look up, look up. Look up one point. Eyes open, breathing normal. Mouth closed. Take a deep breath. Lift the body up. Upper body lifted. Big gap triangle shape between your chest and your left thigh. Right thigh contracted. Push the right hip down and forward. Push your left knee back with the help of your left elbow. Turn, twist your upper body back. Right knee locked. Right foot flat. Right arm stretch up more. Lay, stretch up, stretch up. Ah, lay, change. Come back out. Feet together. Arms over your head. Arms by your side. Good job. Good job. Breathe in. Breathe out through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Standing separate leg, head to knee. Dande mana bi pakta para janu shirasana. Bringing the heart rate down after all that amazing cardio. Such good benefits to your heart, to your entire cardiovascular system. Now moving into the eight important glands in your body. Eight important glands get maximum stimulation, boosting your immune system, digestive system, endocrine system. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Palms touch. Only the thumbs crossed. Elbows locked. Right leg step to the right. Big step. Three feet minimum big step. And turn your body to the right side. Turn the left hip forward. One, two three, four, five times, hips in line, heels in line, arms with your ears, chin to the chest. Don't look at the floor, look at your chest, looking at your chest, you go down, arms and head together, you go down, exhale, stomach sucked in, go down, touch your forehead to the right knee, forehead must touch the knee. If your forehead doesn't touch the knee, bend the right knee forward a little bit, forehead must touch the knee, eyes open, breathing normal, choked throat. You can put your fingertips on the floor, beyond your toes, elbows locked. Push the floor with your fingertips, lock your elbows, push the knee back with your forehead, lock your knee. Hands, palms back together, forehead on the knee. Inhale slowly.
come back out, take a deep breath, do a 180 degree turn, a little bit bigger step, Louise, arms with your ears, bigger step, turn the right hip forward, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, hips in line, heels in line on the floor, arms with your ears, chin to the chest, look at your chest and slowly go down. If you can, Louise, even a little bit bigger than that. Stomach in tight. Touch your forehead to the left knee. Forehead must touch the knee. Throat choked. It's a compression posture, not a stretching posture. Compression of your thyroid, parathyroid. Compression of your organs, your pancreas in your stomach. Stomach stays sucked in. Throat choked. Eyes open. You can put your fingertips on the floor beyond your toes. Push the floor with your fingertips. Lock your elbows. Arms should be straight. Push the knee back with your forehead. Lock your knee with your forehead. Palms back together. Forehead on the knee. Inhale. Slowly come back out. Take a deep breath. Face the side. Feet together. Arms by your side. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe. Second set. Try one more time. Feet together, please. Inhale, arms up. Palms touch, thumbs crossed only. Right leg step to the right, big step. Three feet, minimum big step. It can be bigger than three feet. It will make it easier for you. Turn the right, left hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times. Hips in line. Chin to the chest. Look at your chest. Stomach can go down. Slowly go down. Touch your forehead to the knee. Touch it, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Push the knee back with your forehead. Lock the knee with your forehead and palms together. Come back out slowly. Come back out. Take a deep breath. Inhale, breathing full lungs. Do a hundred eighty degree turn. Turn the right hip forward. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Hips in line. Chin to the chest. Take a moment here. Inhale. And then exhale, 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 stomach in, stomach in, stomach in, compress, 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 compression, maximum compression, stomach sucked in, choke throat, eyes open, breathing normal. Bring maximum weight into your front leg so the left side hip is sticking up to the ceiling. Your two hips should be in one line for the equal compression of your pancreas in the front. Extension of your kidneys happening in the back, rejuvenating your digestive organs. Stomach in nice and tight. Increase the intensity of the compression. Push the knee back with your forehead. Lock the knee with your forehead. Both knees locked. Come back out. Arms and head together. Face the side. Feet together. Arms by your side. Come back to the middle of your mat where you started. For tree pose, Tadasana. Posture for your posture. The way you stand, the way you sit, the way you walk. Chest up, look forward. Right leg up in front of you. Hold your right foot with your left hand. Pull your foot up as high as possible. Touch your heel to your shorts. Let your right knee go down. Gentle with the right knee. Be careful of your right knee. Let the right knee go down towards the floor. Push the right knee back towards the back wall. Simultaneously push your hips forward towards the front. Your two hips should be in one line. Your two shoulders should be in one line. Upper body lifted, chest up, spine straight, stomach sucked in. Right hand up first in the center of your chest. If you can balance left hand up as well. If your foot slips at all, continue to hold your foot. That is way more important. Stretch your spine out of your waist. Left knee locked, left thigh contracted, and change. Good one, Lee. Good one, good one. Other side. Let's go. Left hand up. Hold your left foot with your right hand. Pull your foot up as high as possible. Do what you can with the body that you have today. No expectations, no assumptions. Be present with the body that you have right now. Do what you can. Let the left knee go down. Push the left knee back. Push your hips forward. Same principle as triangle pose. It's a hip opening principle. It's a hip opening posture. Hips in line, shoulders in line, upper body back, chest up. Go for it. Left hand up. If you can balance, right hand up. Lift up, stretch up out of your waist. Right knee locked, right thigh contracted. Meditate, concentrate, and change. Leg down, arms down, toes stand, padangastasana. Eyes on the floor, please. Look at the floor, four feet in front of you. Right leg over your left thigh muscle. Place it wherever you feel comfortable. One or both hands up in the center of your chest. 
looking at the floor slowly bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor your both hands touch 10 fingers touch that's fine leg you can stay there i can't tell if suzanne is doing the posture or not suzanne are you doing toe stand or are you doing tree pose suzanne i cannot tell i'm still in tree pose <laughs> <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll be there. I'll be there in 10 classes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, good to know. Good to know. That's okay. Change. Let's do the other side. Do a second set of three on the other side. Left leg up. Good. Slowly. One or both hands in the center of your chest. Looking at the floor. Chest up. Spine stretching up. Stomach sucked in nice and tight. Contract your abdomen muscles to support the spine. Your stomach muscles are working to support the spine the most. So stomach sucked in, it's a traction, stretch the spine out of your waist and change. Slowly come back out of the posture the opposite way. Good, leg down, arms down, guys. Have a quick sip of water. Turn around, lie down on your back for Savasana. Welcome back, Louise. Have a quick sip of water, lie down on your mat, legs down, arms down. Savasana, dead body pose. <clears throat> Le, if you could kindly adjust your camera too, that would be awesome. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Ah, parfait. That is perfect. Good. Relax. Heels touch, feet fall open, arms are close to your body on your mat. Hands, palms are facing the ceiling. They're open. Keep your hands, palms open. You never know what the universe might drop into your hands today. Especially if you're practicing under the open sky, Louise. See what the universe might drop into your hands right now. Be open to receiving. You're receiving the benefits of your standing series of the almost 50 minutes. 50 minutes of yoga, hot yoga, you're making it hot, working out. Observe a few more breaths. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Lay, are you gonna join us? Is your, is your friend gonna join us? Yeah, well join us, lie down, Savasana. All right, wind removing pose, Pavana Muktasana. Let's go right leg up, bend your right knee, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right leg two inches below the knee, gently pull the right knee out and down towards your right shoulder, completely avoiding your rib cage. Your left leg should be straight, your calf muscle should be touching the floor. If it's not touching, flex your left foot. Tuck your chin to the chest, make your neck flat on the floor. There should be no gap underneath. Relax your shoulders on the floor. Use the biceps to pull the right knee down. Pull it down harder. Make sure your hip joint hurts. You should feel maximum pressure in your lower abdomen and change. Release the leg down, leg down, arms down. Other side, left leg up. Grab your left leg, same position. 
10 fingers interlocked position. Pull your left knee all the way down towards your left shoulder, completely avoiding your rib cage. The right leg should be straight. Calf muscle should be touching the floor. If it's not touching, flex your foot. Tuck your chin to the chest. Make your neck flat on the floor. Shoulders should be relaxed on the floor. Elbows should be close to the body. Pull the left knee down until you feel maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Freeze there. Don't move. Don't even blink your eyes. Pull down harder. Make sure your hip joint hurts and change. Leg down, arms down, both legs up. Grab your opposite elbows each other. Around the legs, both the legs together this time. Aim to grab your elbows, opposite elbows, as long as you keep your knees together. Knees together and your feet together, relaxed position side by side. Relax the feet, tuck your chin to the chest. Don't let your head come off the floor. Keep your head down. Just tuck the chin to the chest. You're trying to make your neck flat on the floor. Eventually in the future, when you improve your skeletal system, the bones and joints enough, your whole spine will be flat on the floor, coccyx to your neck. Change, release, legs down, arms down, savasana, breathe, mouth closed, breathing in and out through the nose. The right side is ascending colon. Left side is descending colon. Center is transverse colon. The right side ascending colon is responsible for absorption of nutrition, electrolytes, minerals that you take. Left side descending colon is responsible for flushing toxins, eliminates waste out of your body. The center transverse colon is responsible for balancing the juices in your digestive system, avoiding all kinds of gastric intestinal problems. Seems like a very simple exercise, right? But it has profound benefits. Let's go second set. Go ahead, right leg up, right side ascending colon. Grab your right leg two inches below the knee. Pull the right knee down to the right shoulder. Hold, still become a statue. Don't move for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull, pull, pull. And change, leg down, arms down, other side, left leg up, grab your left leg, same position, 10 fingers interlocked, pull your left knee out and down to the left shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Feel the pressure, left side descending, colon, hold it, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, change, leg down, arms down, both legs up, grab your opposite elbows around the legs, compact, nice and tight grip. Become a nice and tight, compact package. Feet side by side, chin to the chest. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Change, release, relax. 20 seconds. Be still. Let fresh oxygenated blood gushing through your colon, your digestive organs the entire digestive system, getting oxygen, exercise, nourishment. Next is a Bikram yoga sit up. Please listen carefully, bring your feet together, flex your feet towards your face, glue your heels to the floor. Don't let your heels come off the floor. Feet together, lay, touch the toes and heels, arms over your head, cross your thumbs only, palms facing the ceiling. Tuck your chin to the chest, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk, touch your forehead to your knees. Turn around, please. Lie down on your stomach for cobra pose, bhujangasana. Put your chin on the floor, hands under your shoulders, fingertips in line with the top of your shoulders, your baby fingers in line with your deltoids. Glue your palms down, elbows close to the body, elbows are touching the body. Legs together, feet together, lock both knees. Make sure you have only one leg like a cobra tail. Heels touching, toes touching, knees touching. Lock your knees, contract your hips and your thighs. Inhale, everybody, take a deep breath, look up, come up. Using 100% of your back strength only to lift your body up until only the belly button is touching the floor, the rest of your upper body in the air. Drop the shoulders down, elbows touching with the body throughout the posture. Lift the chest up higher. Look up at the ceiling, look for the back wall, lift the chest up, chest up, chest up, come up half inch more and change. Slowly go down. Look to the right side. Put your left ear on the floor, arms out to your side, palms facing the ceiling, big toes touch, heels fall open. Breathe into your lower back muscles. Take your breath to your lower spine. That is the section of the spine that you are strengthening in this posture. These four postures, we call it the Cobra series, 
the spine strengthening series strengthens section by section different parts of your spine of your back cobra targets the lower back second set let's try again put your chin on the floor hands under your shoulders palms flat elbows in legs together feet together knees locked toes pointed hips and thighs contracted take a deep breath first inhale breathing look mm -hmm. up at the ceiling and come up everybody come up look up come up look up come up look up come up look for the back wall guys the belly button should not come off the floor that's the limit belly button stays touching arch the spine more coccyx to the neck backward bending your back is supposed to hurt push the feet into the floor lift the chest up chest up chest up come up half inch more change come down beautiful lay look to the left right here on the floor arms by your side 20 seconds savasana take deep breaths re-energize the body for the next posture we have asana and savasana asana savasana the genius of the bikram yoga sequence is the sequence the sequence of the postures and the incorporation of savasana within the practice most yoga practices you will go and work out throughout the class and you have a savasana the final savasana is the only savasana you get in bikram yoga you have a savasana after every posture it becomes a high intensity interval training that the fitness industry is going crazy about right now Bikram yoga is your hit workout. Locus pose, Salabhasana, moving on to the upper back muscles, upper body joints. Let's go arm straight position. Bring your arms under your body. Elbows should go invisible underneath your stomach. Your 10 fingers should be wide apart. So your palms are flat, 10 fingers wide apart. Make sure you're not cupping the floor. You're not punching the floor. Palms flat, elbows flat. Put your chin flat on the floor. Look forward. Left leg relaxed on the floor, right leg solid concrete. Take a deep breath, lift your right leg up, lift your right leg up at a 45 degree angle off the floor. 45 is half of 90, leg up higher, everybody. Leg up much more higher, leg up, leg up, leg up and change. Come down, right leg relaxed on the floor, left leg solid concrete. Take a deep breath, lift your left leg up, lift your left leg up. Straight leg, not bending the knee. Knee should be locked. Your left thigh, quadriceps should be contracted. The sole of your left foot should be facing the ceiling. Leg up, leg up, leg up, and change. Come down, both legs together this time. Turn your head in. Put your mouth on the floor. Readjust your grip. Elbows closer, palms flat, shoulders flat, lips, mouths on the floor. Your mouth on the floor. Legs together, feet together. Make sure you have only one leg. Inhale, take a deep breath. Lift both legs up together. Lift both legs up off the floor without bending your knees. Lift both legs up, feet together. Lay, keep your feet together, keep your knees together. Lock both knees, keep your toes pointed. Legs up, legs up, legs up and chain. Bravo, lay. Good work, arms by your side. Look to the right, left ear on the floor. Savasana. Take your breath to your upper back muscles. Take your breath to your arms, elbows, wrists and the fingers. Everybody is texting, texting, typing, typing, right? Our fingers are going crazy with that. So this is a good stretch for the fingers. This is the only posture in Bikram Yoga that is asking you to stretch the 10 fingers wide apart. There's no posture like this for the hands, preventing arthritis, arthritis of the elbows, carpal tunnel syndrome, tennis elbow. All that is worked out here in this posture. Let's try second set. Go ahead, arms under the body, elbows under your stomach. Elbows will hurt. They're supposed to hurt. You're putting body pressure on the elbows. That's a therapeutic compression. Look forward, chin on the floor. Left leg relaxed on the floor. Inhale, right leg lift up. Lift it up, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Change. Right leg down, relax. Left leg solid, concrete. Take a deep breath. Lift your left leg up. Left leg lift up. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Change. Come down. Both legs together this time. Turn your head in. Put your mouth on the floor. Readjust your grip. Elbows closer. Palms flat. Legs together. Feet together. Point your toes. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Inhale. Breathing. Lift both legs up. Off the floor without bending your knees. Lift both legs up. Your shoulders should be glued to the floor. Use your whole upper body strength to lift the lower body off the floor. Legs up, legs up, legs up. Change. Come down. Good work, guys. Arms by your side. Look to the left. Right here on the floor. Savasana. Relax. 
mouth closed, breathing through the nose, take your breath to your upper back muscles. Cobra was lower back, locust was upper back. Now we do full locust, which is the middle section of your spine, strengthening the vertebra, the joints, the muscles of the middle section of your spine. Full locust, Purna Salabhasana. Arms out like airplane wings, your palms flat on the floor, please. Five fingers together, stretching left and right. Look forward, put your chin on the floor. Legs together, feet together, make it one leg. Lock both knees, point your toes, hips and thighs should be contracted. Hips and thighs should stay contracted. Inhale, take a deep breath, arms, body, head, legs, everything off the floor like a 747 ready to take off. You're taking off. Look up, look up, look up, everybody. Look up, chest up, arms up. Pull your arms back. Fingertips should be same level as your head. Only your hip bones are touching the floor. The rest of your entire body in the air. Look up at the ceiling. Exhale, come up one more time. Chain, slowly come down. Look to the right. Arms by your side. Savasana. Relax, relax, relax. Take your breath to the middle section of your spine. As you inhale, feel the back of your rib cage expanding. As you exhale, feel your spine sinking into your mat. Complete relaxation. Second set. Let's try again. Arms out, palms flat. Put your chin on the floor. Legs together, feet together. Knees locked, toes pointed. Hips and thighs nice and tight, contracted. Take a deep breath, inhale, breathing. Arms, body, head, legs. Everything off the floor. Give it everything you've got. Keep your feet together. Lay feet together, feet touching, toes pointed, knees locked, hips and thighs nice and tight. Lift the legs up, lift the chest up. Look up at the ceiling, chest up, chest up, chest up, body up, chest up. Come up, go up, more up and chain. Slowly go down. Look to the left, arms by your side. Savasana, breathe into the middle section of your spine. Eyes open, mouth closed, breathing through the nose. Bow pose, Dhanurasana, full spinal articulation, backward bending, put your chin on the floor, hold your feet from the outside, all five fingers together. Arms and legs should be parallel to each other. They should look like two wheels in one base. Shoulders should stay relaxed. Take a deep breath, inhale, breathing slowly, gently kick. Both legs kick back and up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Look up at the ceiling and kick up at the ceiling continuously. Keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Roll forward on your stomach like a wheel to get your toes in the center from the side. Kick up harder. Kick up more. Kick up one more time. Chain slowly. Come down. Look to the right. Left ear on the floor. Savasana. Take your breath up and down your spine. Breathe and breathe and breathe. Do you have something going on with your neck, Lay? Something happening with your neck? Yeah? All right. So I hope it's not too uncomfortable. If it's too uncomfortable, you can just do the front side savasana. Just a suggestion. Second set. Let's go again. Put your chin on the floor. We're done with the, with the front side savasana anyway. Hold your feet from the outside. Get a good grip. Arms and legs should be parallel. And arms and legs... Look like two wheels in one base. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Now make sure you're not bending the wrists. Wrists are in line with the shoulders and the wrist um, and the elbows. Take a deep breath. Inhale, breathing first. Take a deep breath, full lungs, and then slowly, gently start to kick. Kick both legs back and up towards the ceiling as hard as possible. Look up at the ceiling and kick up at the ceiling. You're creating a 360 degree angle backward bending against the force of gravity. Roll forward and kick. Look up and kick. One more time, kick and change, come down slowly, look to the left, right here on the floor, Savasana, relax, completely relax. Take your breath up and down your spine, coccyx to the neck, neck to the coccyx, take deep breaths, and then slowly, gently put your chin on the floor, hands under your shoulders, push the floor, come to the top of your mat for a fixed firm pose, Supta Vajrasana, sit down Japanese style, separate your feet, Hips touch the floor between your feet. Heels touch your hips on both the sides. If your knees hurt, open your knees as much as you need to. Put your hands on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Go back down one elbow, other elbow. Drop your head back, upper body back, shoulders relaxed on the floor. If you're down there, bring your arms over your head sidewise. Grab your opposite elbows each other. 
pull your elbow down to the floor, tuck your chin to the chest, look at your chest. Neck should be flat on the floor, no gap underneath. Eyes open, breathing normal. Take a deep breath, lift your chest and stomach all the way up towards the ceiling, creating a perfect human bridge under your back. Eventually, try to bring your knees back together to touch. Please make sure knees never come off the floor. Slowly put your hands back on your feet one by one. Come back out with the help of your elbows. Turn around. Lie down. Savasana. Relax. Three, two, one. Breathe and breathe. Take your breath to your knees and ankle joints. Second set. Feet together, flex your feet, arms over your head. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Face the front, please. One more time. Sit down Japanese style. Separate your feet, hips touch the floor. Heels touch your hips, hands on your toes. Go back down, one elbow, other elbow, drop your head, upper body, shoulders, upper body relaxed on the floor, arms over your head, pull the elbows down, chin to the chest. Neck flat on the floor, hold the posture still for 10 seconds, wherever you can hold still without moving, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Change slowly. Put your hands back on your feet with the help of your elbows. Come back out. Turn around. Lie down on your back. Savasana. Legs down. Arms down. Completely relax. Take deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Half tortoise. Ardha Kurmasana. Feet together, arms up, inhale, quickly sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Face the front, please. Come to the middle of your mat, sit down, Japanese style. Feet together, knees together. This time, no gap underneath your ankles. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, thumbs crossed only. Elbows locked, arms back. Keep your chin up, stomach in nice and tight. Exhale, breathing, you go down, arms and head together. Touch your forehead on the floor, baby fingers touch the floor, rest of your arms in the air, elbows locked, elbows off the floor, eyes open, breathing normal. Take a deep breath, stretch your fingertips forward, your shoulder blades, scapula coming out of your body, hips touching your heels throughout the posture, extension of your whole spine, coccyx to the neck. Stretch forward more, stretch and stretch and stretch, change, come back out, arms and head together, exhale, arms down, turn around, lie down, savasana, relax completely relax fresh oxygenated blood high speed being pumped into the brain re-energizing all the brain cells overused underused abused not used all the brain cells get maximum oxygen energy in this posture Bikram says eight hours of sleep give you that much energy than when you do half tortoise metaphorically speaking that's just what he means it just it really energizes the brain cells. Your head goes down below the heart level. It becomes an inversion posture. Then the heart is working its best to energize the brain. Second set, let's go. Feet together, flex your feet, arms up. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Grab your toes, pour it to the knees. Exhale, double jerk. Face the front, please, one more time. Sit down, Japanese style. Feet together, knees together. <clears throat> Inhale, arms up. Palms together, elbows locked. Keep your chin up. Use all your core power here. Stomach in, nice and tight. Slowly come down. Exhaling as you come down. Touch your forehead on the floor. Let's rephrase. Stomach on your thighs. Chest on the knees. Forehead on the floor. Baby fingers on the floor. The knife edges of your baby fingers touching the floor. The rest of your arms in the air. Stretching your fingertips forward. Hips touching the heels. Extension of your whole spine. Opening up the whole spine. Each and every vertebra. The intervertebral discs between the spine get to breathe. They get oxygen. They get nourishment. They get exercise. Stretch more forward. Stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale. Come back out. Arms and head together. Arms by your side, turn around, lie down, savasana, relax, completely relax, take deep breaths. Camel pose, deepest back bend, final back bend. The spine is so ready for this. 
Let's try. Ustrasana, camel pose, feet together. Arms up, inhale, breathing quickly. Sit up. Grab your toes. Exhale, double jerk. Face the front. Come to the top of your mat. Stand up on your knees. Open your knees, six inches. Open your feet, six inches. Put your hands on your hips. Fingers pointing down, thumbs outside. Inhale, push the hips forward. Slowly drop your head back. Look back first. Lean the body back halfway so you can grab the heels. Grab your right heel with your right hand. Grab your left heel with your left hand. Get a good grip. Take a deep breath. Eyes open. Exhale, breathing. Push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the front. 360 degree angle backward bending. This one is for gravitation. Push forward. Contract your hips more to support the spine. Push and push and push. Hands back on your hips one by one. Come up, chest up. Turn around. Lie down. Savasana. Relax on your back. <clears throat> second set feet together flex your feet arms up inhale breathing quickly sit up grab your toes exhale double jerk face the front come to the top of your mat stand up on your knees open your knees eight to ten inches open your feet six inches hands on your hips keep the spine supported push your hips forward drop your head back look back lean back grab the heels as soon as you grab your heel, no more going back. Now you push everything forward. Your back is supposed to hurt. Very therapeutic healing compression for the spine. Contract your hip muscles nice and tight. Push the pelvis forward, activating your root chakra, activating your heart chakra, the throat chakra, the energy channels in your body get re-energized. Push forward, push and push and push. Put your hands back on your hips one by one. Come up, chest up, turn around, lie down, savasana. Relax on your back. Legs down, arms down. Take deep breaths. Mouth closed. Eyes open. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Second set. Feet together. Flex your feet. Arms over your head. Take a deep breath. Inhale quickly. Sit up. Grab your toes for it to the knees. Not second set. Grab it pose. Sasangasana. Face the front. Please sit down Japanese style. Feet together. Knees together. Grab your heels over the towel. If you want to grab a towel, get a good dry grip. Thumbs outside. Fingers inside. Tuck your chin to the chest. Look at your chest. Start to compress. Stomach can go down. So lay. If you have anything going on with your neck, take it easy on this posture. Yeah. Not a lot of pressure on the neck for this posture. You must pull. Get a good grip and pull. Pull as hard as possible. Stomach sucked in nice and tight. Shoulders relaxed completely. Pull the heels, stretching the spine from the top to bottom. Cock six to the neck, each and every vertebra opening up. Keep your feet together. Keep your heels together. Roll forward like a wheel until your arms and elbows are straight. Stomach in nice and tight. Lift your hips up more and chin. Slowly come back out. Turn around. Lie down. Savasana. Relax on your back. Legs down, arms down, take deep breaths, breathing in and out through your nose. <clears throat> okay, second set, let's go. Feet together, flex your feet, arms over your head. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Face the front, please, one more time. Feet together, knees together, rabbit pose, sasangasana, maximum compression of the front. Grab your heels, get a good grip, tuck your chin, look at your chest, pull the body in, pull, pull, pull. Go down slowly, stomach in tight, touch your forehead to the knees, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your forehead and your knees, eliminate the gap, walk your knees forward one by one. Excuse me, stomach in tight, roll forward, pull as hard as possible, stretching your spine from the top to bottom. Roll forward like a wheel, hips up, hips up, hips up, change, come back out, turn around, lie down on your back, savasana, relax, completely relax, take deep breaths, eyes open, breathing normal, final compression posture, final stretching posture, head to knee with stretching, Janu Shirasana with Pashimottanasana, 
Both are amazing for your digestive organs, digestive system, endocrine system. Let's go, feet together, flex your feet, arms over your head, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, double jerk, touch your forehead to the knees, face the front, please, hips forward, right leg out to the right corner of the room, bend your left knee, create pressure against your right thigh bicep with your left foot sole, inhale, arms over your head, lift up, stretch up, turn to the right, grab your right foot under your toes, pull your toes in, tuck your chin in, suck your stomach in, touch your forehead on the right knee forehead must touch the knee eyes open breathing normal relax the shoulders bend your elbows down next to your calf muscle left elbow down more left shoulder down more roll into the left side more roll in roll in forehead on the knee change other side left leg out right leg in arms up lift up stretch up turn to the left grab your left foot same position pull the toes in tuck your chin in Suck your stomach in, touch your forehead to the left knee, keep it touching, eyes open, look at your chest, look at your stomach, stomach in tight, compress the throat, breathing normal through the nose. Start to bend your elbows down next to your calf muscle, right elbow down more, right shoulder down more, roll into the right side, roll in, roll in, forehead on the knee, both legs out, <clears throat> lie down on your back, take a deep breath, quickly sit up, grab your toes, exhale, double jerk, grab your big toes with your middle index fingers, Pull the big toes as hard as possible. Walk your hips back, right, left, right, left. Heels off the floor. You've got it. Lay, lock both knees, contract your thighs. Let's go. Bend your elbows down. Stretch your body forward from your lower spine towards the front. Look forward, chin forward. Stretch your body forward. Your goal is to touch your forehead to the feet. Pull and stretch, pull and stretch, pull and stretch. Change, turn around, lie down, savasana. Relax on your back, savasana. Breathe in, breathe out through the nose. Take deep breaths. All right, second set. Feet together, flex your feet, arms over your head. Inhale quickly, sit up. Grab your toes, exhale, double jerk. Face the front again, please. Right leg out, left leg in. Arms over your head, lift up, stretch up, turn to the right, grab your right foot under the toes, pull the toes, tuck your chin, stomach in, forehead on the right knee, touch it, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, push the knee down with your forehead, lock the right knee, forehead on the knee, chin, good one, in the end, other side, left leg out, right leg in, arms up, lift up, stretch up. Turn to the left, grab your left foot, get a good grip, forehead on the left knee, touch it, hold it. Don't lose the contact, maintain that compression. Choke, throat, eyes open, breathing normal, bend your elbows down, increasing the intensity of the compression. Bikram says if you can, bring your forehead higher on your thigh. Push the left knee down, trying to lock the left knee. Good practice for your standing head to knee tomorrow. Flex your left foot towards your face, left heel off the floor, lock the left knee, forehead on the knee. Change both legs out, lie down on your back, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, double jerk for it to the knee. Grab your big toes, walk your hips back, right, left, right, left, right, left. Legs are stretching first, Achilles tendon, hamstring, flex the feet, lock both knees, both knees lock, bend your elbows down to the floor. Pull your body forward using the biceps, relax the shoulders back away from your ears. Stretch your chin forward, stretch your throat forward, relax the shoulders and use the biceps to pull the body forward. Pull and stretch, pull and stretch, pull and stretch. Change, turn around, lie down. Savasana, relax on your back. Final posture. Last but not the least, it's actually a very, very, very important posture in the entire Hatha Yoga sequence. Ardhamatsyandrasana. Improving the elasticity of your spine, the potential of your spine, range of motion, clockwise twisting, anti-clockwise twisting, neutralizing the spine, bringing everything back into proper alignment before you leave. Let's go feet together, flex your feet, arms over your head, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Grab your toes, forward to the knees. Good, face the left side of the room, please. Bend your left knee on the floor in front of you. 
So Lee, if you could give me a profile, that would be much better, please. So if you could face, excellent, thank you, perfect. Bend the left knee, <clears throat> right leg over, inhale, breathing, left arm up and over, elbow against the knee, grab your left knee with your left hand. Look down quick, your hand, knee, heel, three things should be touching at the same spot. Right hand on the floor behind you, support the spine, push the floor, chest up, spine should be straight. Inhale, take a deep breath, look over the right shoulder, look back and turn, twist your upper body back. Feel each and every vertebra twisting like a pearl necklace. Look back over the right shoulder, look back farther, twist and twist and twist, change other side. Bend your right knee on the floor, left leg over the right knee corner, left foot flat on the floor. Hips are sitting comfortably on the floor, so make sure you're not sitting on your heel. Inhale, right arm up and over, elbow against the knee. Grab your right knee with your right hand, have a quick look, hand, knee, heel, three things touching the same spot. Left hand on the floor behind you, support the spine. If you can, go and grab your inner right thigh with your left hand fingertips. Inhale, take a deep breath, lift your chest up. Take a deep breath, chest up, look over the left shoulder, gently, slowly turn, twist your upper body back. Push your left knee back with the help of your right elbow. Suck your stomach in, exhale, breathing, twist. Look back further, twist. One more time, twist and twist and twist, change. Legs down, arms down, we are done. Final breathing exercise. Couple body breathing, blowing in firm pose. Let's do the sit up, miss the sit up, lay feet together, flex your feet, arms up, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, double jerk, go ahead, face the front, sit down Japanese style, as long as your spine is straight, chest is lifted, stomach completely relaxed, exhale only, blow out through your lips using your stomach, inhale will be automatic, <clears throat> look forward, chest up, look forward, inhale through the nose, exhale with your mouth, shingle, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. Swallow a couple of times. Second set faster. Chest up, spine straight, elbows locked. Look forward. Ready, exhale, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stomach, 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 stomach. Sixty. On your practice, have some water. Turn around, lie down on your back. Savasana. Relax. Completely let go. Final savasana. Very important for your body, for your mind. Legs down, arms down. For the first time in 90 minutes, close your eyes, let it go. Close your eyes, close your mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Deep inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Bringing your breath back to its normal natural rhythm. Brings your heart rate back to its normal natural rhythm cooling down the body, allowing your body to revitalize, re-energize, reorganize itself from the inside out. The human system, we have 11 systems. Every system is a genius on its own. It's a sophisticatedly engineered machine. The best that we know so yoga, Bikram yoga in particular, gives us the tools to keep those 11 systems working at optimal levels, right? If we think about it, our systems never stop working. From the day we are born until we leave, the systems never stop working. Isn't that amazing? They never get a break. Even when we're sleeping, they're working. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's amazing to have this tool, this yoga, rejuvenating our systems, revitalizing, nourishing, giving them exercise. Such a good practice. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, everybody. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Namaste. Bye. It was lovely to meet you, Leigh. It was great. <clears throat>